In the news today 11 and a half years jail for men who kidnapped and killed businessman four men were sentenced to serve 11 and a half years imprisonment each on Tuesday after they confessed to kidnapping and killing Fooley, East Coast Demerara businessman, Rajendra Singh in 2014. On the evening of April 5, 2014, Singh was snatched from his business place at Fooley by persons who bundled him into his own vehicle and drove away. His wife was later approached and told to pay a ransom of $50 million, the next day, the ransom demanded was reduced to $25 million. When the ransom was not paid by the deadline, Singh was shot by his kidnappers. His body was later discovered in Le Repentier Cemetery on April 9, 2014, with a gunshot wound to the head. Linden activist dies in early morning accident outspoken APNU Region 10 councillor and Linden political and social activist Leon Jr. Barrett died this morning when the car he was driving slammed into an unlit truck at Amelia's Ward on the linden Sosdike Highway. Reports are that the 62-year-old man was at the time heading to the city with his wife for her regular medical checkup. The woman was seriously injured in the crash and rushed to the hospital. Barrett who has always been outspoken on several issues in the bauxite community was also a business and operated a store in the Mackenzie Arcade. In a statement, Region 10 Chairman Sharma Solomon in extending his sympathy to relatives said the community of Linden has lost, one of its truest and champions of the town's righteous cause. Police fire shots after coming under attack whilst arresting suspect at Stabroke Market subsequently, a large crowd gathered and started throwing missiles at the ranks, resulting in the the patrol commander receiving injuries to his back and neck. The patrol vehicle was also damaged and several other ranks received minor injuries. <laughs> Thief caught and stripped naked at number 58 after committing robbery at number 47 on the Linden Lethem Trail.